Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial for Xtool P2. Today we will show you how to replace the air pump. This video has four parts. In the first part, we will tell you how to take off the external covers and plates. Then, we will show you how to remove the used air pump. In the third part, we will show you how to install the new pump. In the fourth part, we will show you how to put all the parts back on. Okay, let's dive right in. Things you need. For tools, you can use the one used in this video, or find alternatives with the same specs. Disconnect the power supply of the machine. Use the hex head of the screwdriver to remove the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to remove the six screws on the inner side. Remove the rear upper cover. Pinch the fastening ring to remove the smoke exhaust pipe. Use the hex head to remove the six screws on the rear plate. Remove the rear plate. Remove the connection cable of the rear plate. Press down the connector of the air tube and take it out. Unplug the connection cable of the fan. Remove the rear plate. Use the cross head to remove the six screws on the front plate. Then take off the plate. Use the cross head to remove the three screws on the right upper cover. Then remove the two screws on the inner side. Remove the cover and its connection cable. Use the hex head to remove the three screws at the back of the right plate. Remove the two screws on the front side of the plate. Remove the three screws at the bottom of the right plate. Remove the plate and the emergency stop button. Move the machine to the edge of your table so you can see the underneath. Remove the four screws of the air pump. Remove the two retainer pieces of the air pump. Use the linesman plier to remove the air pump clamp. Pull out the air pipe of the pump. Release the cable tie which is under the power supply. Please mind the space between the parts, and pull out the connecting cable carefully. Remove the two screws and take off the plate. Carefully thread the air pump connection cable through the frame. Refasten the air tube to the outlet. Refasten the clamp to the outlet with the linesman plier. Put the four screws into the holes of the air pump from underneath. Place the retainer of the air pump 
Fasten the four screws of the retainer until the silicone cover is slightly deformed. Place the plate in the appropriate position and tighten the two screws. Organize the cables and insert the cable tie into the slot. Plug all the connection cables into the ports of the UI board. Install the right plate and connect the emergency stop switch. Use the hex head, and install the three screws, back to the back side of the right plate. Install the two screws on the front of the plate. Install the three screws at the bottom of the right plate. Be sure to align the position and install the right upper cover. Use the cross head to install the three screws, on the right upper cover. Install the two screws on the inner side of the cover. Connect the air tube to the rear plate. Note, be careful not to make the air tube kinked when installing the rear plate. If it is kinked, Cut off the part and reinstall the air tube. Install the corresponding cables to the plate. Then place the rear plate back. Use the hex head to install the six screws on the rear plate. Install the smoke exhaust pipe. Install the six screws on the front plate. Use the hex head to install the five screws on the rear upper cover. Then open the lid to install six screws inside. Now it's done. You've finished the replacement of the air pump and assembly of the whole machine. We hope this video is helpful. Feel free to contact the X-Tool support team if you have any questions.